We're here in Charlotte. It's the Tech Summit today. The All-Star Game is in two days on Sunday. And we are joined by Steve Pagliuca. Pagliuca, Silent G, get that? Everyone in the audience. He is the co-owner of the Boston Celtics. He's also a co-chair of Bain Capital. Welcome to the show. Welcome to CNBC. To Thank here. you for, for having me. So let's get right into it. The big story on CNBC, the last 24 hours. Amazon pulling out of New York City. You have a lot of experience with how companies do business and do partnerships with governments and local institutions. What are your thoughts on that? Where did it go wrong? Well, my thoughts on that is very unfortunate uh, because I've been a big believer in, in other countries and, and we need to do more of this is government business partnerships for the common good. And I think Amazon was, was an effort to bring technology and build an ecosystem and build that ecosystem in New York. Now, New York's a great place and, and uh, it has lots of stuff going on. But to bring a company like that and that scale with those technologies would have really, I think, enhanced the whole employment outlook and the whole technology sector in the New York area. So I think it's unfortunate that, that they're not coming. You ran for Senate as a pro-business Democrat based on your background in private equity 10 years ago. And there was a lot of pushback against you because you have been a successful businessman. Do you still find a home in the Democratic Party, given all the rhetoric we're hearing now moving towards a socialist party? It seems like they don't want to hear about guys that are actually successful business people. Well, I think both parties have become reasonably polarized. Uh, we've seen that, and that's a bad trend for the country because then nothing gets done when you're really talking about polarization. So I'm hoping we go in cycles. I'm hoping we'll cycle back to a more centrist approach uh, where we actually solve the real problems out there. We have, we have a great country. I, th I think if, if you look at the economy right now, we have low oil prices. We're exporting oil. We have fantastic technology. We have great technology centers like San Francisco and Boston and Austin. So we have a lot going for us. Uh, I don't want to blow that. I want to keep that going forward. And, and I think a more centrist approach will move us forward. So Amazon, in a way, is like a corporate free agent now. They're, they're not going to be in New York. Would you want them in Boston? Would you trade Kyrie Irving to the Knicks so you could get Amazon in Boston? I would How never valuable? trade Kyrie Irving for anything. Uh, I love Kyrie. Duke guy has been, been a great player for us. But, uh, but I think we'd love to have Amazon in Boston. And, and uh, you know, Boston, Boston, we've had a great record of working with the government and working with citizens to bring technology in there. Or, you know, to, uh, Deval Patrick, when he was governor, and now Charlie Baker have continued technology programs. I'm part of the Mass High Tech Council where we have uh, lots and lots of the, of, of the companies contributing together to say, how can we make Boston a better place to work? How can we make it a better place for technologies, for great jobs? And that's what I think all cities ought to do. So in the news, Adam Silver, the commissioner of the league, in the last couple of days, it's been reported, we don't know if it's true, he was approached by NFL team owners, some Fortune 500 CEOs to come lead their organizations. You, as a private equity investor, have installed CEOs and taken CEOs out. Would you put him in one of your investments and say, hey, I bought a company, I want Adam Silver to run it as a PE investment? Uh, absolutely. Uh, Adam Silver and Mark Tatum have been, you know, fantastic stewards of this league, you know, starting with David Stern. The NBA has great leadership. Um, Adam has, has really taken the league by storm. He's been at, ahead of all the trends. He's helped globalize the game. Um, arguably one of the best CEOs that, we, that we've ever seen in sports. We've had such a great track record in the NBA since the five years ago when he took over in this job. Revenues have you know, multiplied. Valuations have gone up multiple times. I mean, the numbers are better than any stock. But if the traders were asking, they might say, hey, it's had a good run. Maybe it's time to sell the NBA if it were a stock, not be buying it at such high valuations. Uh, au contraire. I, I think the NBA is only in the, in the, in the, in the, in the first few phases. Uh, we're one of the few games. Soccer and basketball are global games. Uh, this whole tech conference, you've seen the ubiquity of VR and AR and fan engagement. Um, the NBA has done a fantastic job. It's a fast-moving game. It's, it's perfect for the new generation. They don't, they don't want to sit four hours at a game. The game's fast-moving. When it's not going on, there's incredible things going on in the stands and on the court. Uh, so, and it's going global. So we're only in the beginning stages. I think the game will, will expand and we'll see leagues overseas. I think you'll see teams in Europe at, at some point in time. So I'm very excited about uh, just I'm excited today as I was 16 years ago when we got involved in the Celtics.